How does one go from being undrafted to being an NBA champion and Hall of Famer? Well, that takes a lot of grit, passion, and incredible mental strength. But I guess Ben Wallace had it in great proportions because he went from being a nobody to being a legendary NBA defender and rebounder. Want to know how he did it? Then stick around as we dive into one of the greatest fairy tales in NBA history. Without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. First, let's look at Big Ben's early life. Before he even knew he would be a basketball player, Ben Wallace spent time in Alabama working in cotton fields. Wallace grew up in Whitehall, a small town named after a plantation in the state's ninth poorest county, which has a current population of fewer than 750 people and a poverty rate of 37%. It was a place where he and his family had to rely on neighbors to survive. Wallace is the 10th of 11 children, and at 6 feet 7 inches, he was the smallest of them all. His time in the plantations would be crucial to him developing the mental strength that later proved priceless to him. According to Wallace, I witnessed a lot of things. I saw the plantation, went to it, and worked on it. I had a lot of experiences that made growing up in the South priceless. Wallace's interest in basketball started when his brother brought some jerseys and basketball home to their house and told Wallace he wanted to form a team. Wallace wasn't interested in basketball at all, but he wanted a jersey, so he joined his brother on the court. There he found out that he really could play and realized everything had changed. When I became king on the court against my brothers, they stopped playing with me, Wallace says. When I started to learn the game, play the game, and appreciate the game, I knew I had a chance to be good at it, Wallace said. And that was when the fairy tale truly began. But before we get into how he became a legend, don't forget that you can win an Ultra Game NBA Men's Soft Active Sleeveless Jersey Tank Top T-Shirt for free. All you have to do is subscribe to this channel and the Ultra Game channel, like this video, and drop a comment with the name of your favorite team or player. The link to the Ultra Game channel is in the description below. Now back to Big Ben. While Wallace was still learning the game, he learned a lot about basketball camp run by NBA player Charles Oakley when he was in 10th grade. Wallace offered $3 haircuts to anyone who wanted to earn the $50 cost of the camp. Wallace wasn't paying enough attention at the camp, well, not enough to the standard of Charles Oakley anyways. Oakley challenged Wallace to a one-on-one -on -one match, which quickly turned physical. During the game, Oakley even bloodied Wallace's lip, but Wallace refused to back down. He showed me what a real man can do, and he was not holding back, Wallace said about the one-on-one -on -one game. He was having his way and split my lip. Now, I'm a player too, and I don't back down to nobody so I didn't mind getting physical with him. After that, he took a liking to me, Wallace would later recount. Charles Oakley was impressed by Wallace's tenacity and refusal to give up. Oakley stayed in touch with Wallace after the camp as his career progressed. Wallace did not receive any scholarship offers after one year of basketball at Central High School. From 1992 to 1994, he played two years at Cuyahoga Community College in Cleveland averaging 17 points and 6.9 blocks per game before transferring to Virginia Union University, a small HBCU to play for the legendary Panthers coach Dave Robbins. Now at this point, it had been near smooth sailing for Ben Wallace. Then came the NBA draft, the major turning point in Ben Wallace's career. Following his senior season, Wallace waited anxiously to hear his name called in the 1996 NBA draft, but it never happened. Now, in their defense, it's not like teams overlooked him because he was bad. The 1996 NBA draft was just the greatest draft in NBA history. Allen Iverson, Marcus Camby, Sharif Abdurrahim, Stephen Marbury, Ray Allen, Antoine Walker. Those were the first six picks, which helped to seed young franchises in Toronto and Vancouver, while also reviving sputtering franchises in Philadelphia, Milwaukee, Minnesota, and Boston. But wait, there's more. Kobe Bryant slipping to number 13 due to some stubborn doubts about high school prospects. Steve Nash, number 15, was a slight Canadian kid from Santa Clara University who went on to become a two-time NBA MVP. So not taking anything away from Ben Wallace, there were just better players in the draft than him at that point. Regardless, Ben Wallace took the snub personally and reacted in a fantastic way. Soon as the broadcast finished, he hit the gym immediately. I was on a mission to let everybody know, y'all missed one. And I did reps on the bench press to everybody's name that was called in that draft until I gave up. So it was whoever, AI, Starberry, Sharif, Jermaine, Ray, Kobe, for me, it just became motivation. It's me against the world now, my back up against the wall. Now that is some OG shit right there. A lot of people would have buckled and sulked under the disappointment, but not Big Ben. His dreams of playing on the big stage took a slight detour to Italy, where he tried out for the Viola Reggio Calabria. 
Well, I saw the overseas experience as a chance. While playing overseas, I learned how to play the game without using my athletic abilities, he says. When I got my NBA chance, it improved my fundamentals. He joined the Washington Bullets later that year as a free agent. After three seasons in Washington, he was traded to the Magic. A year later in 2000, he was traded to the Pistons. Each part of his journey he viewed as a stepping stone, but it was with the Detroit Pistons that he truly became a star. I had a bond, a brotherhood, with a group of guys in Detroit. We stayed together. Many nights, the bond we shared got us over the hump. We were the epitome of champions. Wallace's brotherhood with his Piston teammates, which included Chauncey Billups, Richard Hamilton, Tayshawn Prince, and Rasheed Wallace was special. And under the tutelage of coach Larry Brown, they won a championship together, defeating the Kobe and Shaq-led Lakers in the 2004 finals in five games, with Wallace averaging 10.3 points, 14.3 rebounds, and 2.4 blocks in the 2004 finals. To put that into perspective, the entire NBA community thought the Lakers would win, and easily. The Lakers had a super team, and there it looked like they were going to have an easy win. But when the game started, it was clear one team was superior. The Pistons outworked the Lakers. They played like a team in their defense, led by Ben Wallace, frustrating the Lakers. The Detroit Pistons won the series 4-1 and obtained their first NBA title since 1990. Ben Wallace's performance in stopping Shaquille O'Neal cemented his place as one of the greatest defenders in NBA history. In 2006, Wallace was rewarded with a four-year, $60 million contract with the Bulls. While leaving Detroit was a difficult decision, he had the support of his Pistons teammates. As much as I loved him and loved playing with him, I told him he had to leave because he earned it and deserved more for all he had done here, Billup says. He bounced around from Chicago to Cleveland, then ultimately back to Detroit where he would finish his career in 2012. At the end of his career, Big Ben Wallace had won one championship and four Defensive Player of the Year titles. His journey from being undrafted and playing in Europe to being one of the best defensive players to ever play in the NBA is astonishing and inspiring in the same vein. He got his flowers too when the Detroit Pistons rightfully retired Wallace's jersey on January 16, 2016, and then the ultimate sign of respect came when Wallace was elected to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in the class of 2021. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully the story of Ben Wallace will inspire you to never give up and chase your dreams till you get them. Because dreams are really what life is all about. Don't forget to drop a like on this video, subscribe and click that notification bell. Till next time, live a life of purpose.